and my name is Corey and in this lecture we're going to be talking about experimentation and trial and error as a seller on Fiverr. So the first thing to consider is why? Why experiment with your gigs on Fiverr? Well the first thing is you have 20 gigs to work with, use them. You'd be surprised how many new Fiverr sellers or level 1 sellers only have 3 or 4 gigs and they think it's enough. And then they come to me and ask why aren't any of my gigs selling and I tell them well why don't you create more gigs and see what works? And they never think of that for some reason. And you know, there's a reason you have 20 gigs to in the first place. It's so you can experiment, and it lets you up your chances of one gig hitting big. So either one gig going onto the front page, one gig being consistently picked up in a very popular search, or even just one bit, one gig uh, selling a lot. And obviously, this increases your potential to earn more. The more gigs you have the more money you can potentially earn on Fiverr. It lets you discover what works for you and your gigs. So how? How do we do this? Well, the first thing is you're going to want to create variations of your gigs. Um, remember that the gigs must be different enough so the variations have to be very significant so that Fiverr won't delete the gigs and think they're just duplicates. Even though we are duplicating the gigs, you have to make enough differences between them so that Fiverr won't notice, okay? And I'll show you how. Um, you're gonna want to use different gig photos and gig videos. This should be a given, okay? This should be obvious. And you want to create a variation of the gig title, keywords, and description enough so that it won't get uh, noticed by Fiverr. So, for example, if we're, we're, we're going to be selling whiteboard animations, okay? I'm gonna create one gig. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna uh, create a whiteboard animation for you for five bucks. And then the other one, I'll say a hand-drawn animation for five bucks, and maybe in another one, a whiteboard animation for five bucks. So while they are very much the same thing, they are using very different titles. Okay, and what you could also do is offer a little more or a little less per gig. So in the first one, I can offer 50 words. The next one, I can offer 60. The next one, I can offer 80. And now you might think, well, the one with 80 is going to sell more, obviously, right? Actually, no. Um, I don't know why this happens, but uh, people don't check your profile, see what other gigs you have sometimes. So they'll just purchase the gig that, that comes up first for them. And I have seen gigs that I offer less uh, and get get uh, higher conversion than the ones I offer more. And the reason for that is because they have a better description, maybe a better uh, gig video, maybe they're being picked up more often in searches. So it's just something to consider, guys. Also, another way to experiment is to offer very relevant services. So. Um, Instead of offering only Twitter followers, offer Twitter retweets and Twitter favorite gigs. Maybe you're lucky enough that those will be picked up in very popular searches and that will help you uh, get things rolling for you on Fiverr. Another example is WordPress demo installation instead of a full WordPress installation. After you've been experimenting on Fiverr, you have to evaluate. So the first thing is you have to give it at least 30 days. Okay. You can't just give up on a gig after a week or so. You have to give it at least 30 days and, and then determine how well it's been doing. You're going to want to look at which gigs get the most impressions and page views. Okay, and from there, you're going to look at the conversion percentage. Ideally, your conversion percentage should be more than 10%. That means it's a good gig, it's converting well. Even if it's only getting 700 impressions, if it's converting 10% or more, it's a good gig, okay? And then after that, you're going to want to begin to cut down, remove the gigs that are not doing well after 30 days, and then replace them with new gigs or new variations of gigs that you have that are doing well or not doing well. Eventually, okay guys, once you begin to get about 10 orders a day or so consistently, you're going to follow the 80-20 principle. Okay? Uh, the 80-20 principle, basically in this sense, how we're going to use it is we're going to keep 20% of the gigs that are making us 80% of the profit. Okay, And that's how we're going to determine which gigs to keep. And that will be easy to determine for you if, if it's the same two or three gigs that are selling consistently, obviously you're going to keep those, not the ones that are selling maybe once a week, twice a week. Because remember, your gigs are limited on Fiverr. And at the same time, you don't want to have 20 gigs forever because it will become uh, too, much of, too much work for you. You don't want to spread yourself out too thin. You want to begin to focus on Fiverr as you start to become more and more successful on Fiverr. So here's some tips when it comes to trial and error and experimentation, okay? The first thing is be patient. Trial and error is okay. It's okay if you're failing in the beginning. It's okay if no one's buying your gigs in the very beginning. Um, it's all a process, guys. Uh, sometimes it happens overnight, sometimes it doesn't, and then that's okay. 
it's there's potential and there's room enough for every seller to make some money on Fiverr, okay? And remember, this also works great for gig extras. So if your gigs are all selling well, okay, and you're gonna think, well, this lecture is useless for me. Actually, no, you can start experimenting with your gig extras too and hopefully increase the average price of your gigs. So if there's a couple gig extras that are never selling, why are you keeping them around? You might as well play with them or maybe uh, um, offer more or offer something completely different or create variations on the gig titles and you'll be surprised how much more they will sell because remember your gig extras are limited you only limit to a certain amount depending on your level so you don't want to um, have gig extras that are not selling on your gig when you can put something else there that would sell better and for more information on uh, analyzing your gigs and determining what works and what doesn't check the gig success analysis lecture that's it for this lecture guys so I wanted to quickly talk about uh, experimentation and trial and error I really hope this helped Remember, you have 20 gigs, use them all in the very beginning, see what works for you, see what doesn't, and you'll start to get some momentum on Fiverr. Thanks a lot, guys.